Hey guys, this video shows the process of recutting an emerald. The stone originally had a square shape, but one side was severely damaged, with a deep chip extending mostly into the crown. The general polish was also quite poor, dulling the stone's brilliance and giving it a hazy appearance. Despite the damage, the emerald has a beautiful color, and based on the inclusions, it likely comes from Zambia. It is a rather small gem, weighing 1.29 carats before the repair. The first step is to attach it to the dope. In this case, I'll start by cutting the crown, since that's where most of the damage is, and it is the most important part to recut properly. I place the table face down on the lower dope in my transfer jig. Visually center the stone and bring down a second dope with a small drop of UV curing adhesive. Now the stone is ready to begin the repair. First, I set the fasting machine to 90 degrees and align the stone parallel to the undamaged side. From this position, I begin removing the chip along the girdle using a copper lap charged with 1200 grit diamond. I remove material slowly, stopping as soon as the damage is fully gone on the side, to preserve as much weight as possible. This will be the new girdle line, just enough cutting to eliminate the damage completely. Next, I rotate the stone and cut the corners slightly to give it the classic emerald cut shape. I use the opposite side's corners as a guide to maintain a symmetrical outline. This will be the final shape of the stone when viewed from the top. Now I begin working on the crown. I have added two large facets above the girdle, matching the step cut style seen on the other sides of the stone. To polish these facets, to add small corner facets, and also to refresh the polish on the rest of the crown, I use the Turbofan X3 polishing lap. It provides an excellent polish and allows for precise adjustments to the facets and meet points, giving the finished stone a clean and symmetrical look. There is one extra step not shown in this video where I also repolish the table. And with that, the crown is complete. Even though the pavilion hasn't been touched yet, the stone already shows a major improvement in brilliance and color depth. On the recut side, the girdle looks thicker because we still need to flip the stone and work on the pavilion. Using the transfer jig again, I attach a new dop to the table side. For a brief moment, the stone is held between two dops. I gently heat the first dop to detach it without any issues. In just a few minutes, the stone is ready to be worked on from the other side. We are now much closer to the final shape, restored and symmetrical. I polish the new pavilion facets add facets on the corners and refine the polish of the existing facets. But I do not want to change the position of the coulette. The reshaping has slightly displaced the coulette to one side, but due to the inclusions, this will not be visible from the crown. Moving the pavilion tip to the new geometric center would require removing more weight and also losing some color which is not worth it in this case. Exciting moment. The stone is now finished. The final weight is 1.21 carats, losing only 0.08 carats, which is just 6.2% of the original weight, much less than I expected given the depth of the damage. 
The repolishing has helped enhance the color and given the emerald a much brighter look. Here you can compare the gem before and after the recutting process. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your own experiences with gemstone repairs in the comments. Visit my website to see my other precision and fantasy cut gemstones. Subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram to see my new stones and videos.